Hey, whoops. Hey, so anyone who knows me knows that uh, snail mail is really important to me. I love postcards. Um, so thanking the United States Postal Service who is struggling right now uh, is definitely essential to me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm so thankful. This is Pedro. He's my uh, awesome postman that you've had for years. And I want to say thank you for uh, being an essential worker. How, how do you feel being uh, out there? I know it's dangerous right now. And I like it in your gear. Well, thank you. Well, it's a 50-50 thing. I mean, what is essential? But I see that we do serve a purpose because we are bringing people, as of this week, the, the checks, the, the stimulus checks, and also their medications. And plus, for me personally, doing this for almost 15 years now, I have a lot of people I've established relationships with, including a lot of senior citizens that maybe don't have somebody at home for them to take care of them. So I kind of put it out there where I can try to help them out, maybe go to the store, get their medications and stuff like that. So, I mean, I mean, the other half of that is like, you know, I'm a little fearful, I can't lie, you know, I get out and the minute I leave my house, I have to be worried if anything's going to happen to me because I may be symptomatic or I may actually catch it, but I also care for a, a senior citizen that, you know, if the minute she gets it, there's a good chance that she may not survive this. Yeah, and so you just, uh, what is it, rain, no, rain, nor sleep, nor snow, nor coronavirus? No pandemic, <laughs> no, uh, no, no hurricanes, tornadoes now, I mean... It's a tested phrase from back in the day, and I'm sure back in those days we didn't have weather conditions or situations like we do have now. So I'm sure it's just like a constitution or any kind of policy where the policy maybe should have adapted to the situations we're going through right now. But, you know, we're here right now, so I guess it's going to stay like that for the time to come. Maybe it'll be revisited in the future, but who knows? Right. Well, right now the post office is struggling financially. People need to use the post office because it's not like it's government funded like people assume. Like, I, I love the post office and mailing stuff through, through the mail. So we need to support our post offices. Well, definitely. I mean, if anybody needs to get stuff, I mean, if you are fearful to a sense like me, but maybe even that much more where you do not want to go out and get stuff, and if you know services that are actually offering mailing or shipping, you know, I would definitely say you want to be my best. Yes. Hey, how are you? Um, you know, I mean, then we're out there, you know, we're, we're going to be out here for as long as they tell us to, so if that helps anybody where they may have thought, oh, I don't know because I don't know if they're shipping, we'll do it. And plus, we do the final, the final mile where we'll get to that last address, that last location where some of the other competitive shippers don't do it. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys have been around forever, and you, you're so you're so great, and I always have a positive attitude, and it is, I think it's essential. I mean, I'd be lost without you guys. So thank you very much. No, no problem. Thank you, and to the customers out there, be safe, stay home. If you, like I said, we're out here helping. Sometimes, I mean, if you know your mail carrier, like for me, like I said, I've been here 15 years, so I do know, and I have some relationships with my customers. Reach out to them. Maybe, you know, they can help you out with something. I mean... It's just, it's a human thing to do. Yeah. You know, and, if, and if they can do it in a, in a safe and efficient way, I'm sure nobody would have a problem doing it, but I can't speak for them, but I will tell you, I know I do that for my people, and hopefully, you know, like I say, just the human nature and the human heart's gonna prevail through this all, and maybe, you know, we'll be okay, and like I said, we'll have to just ride this out as best we can. Well, thank you, I mean, that was so eloquently put. So thank you, Pedro, thank you all of your colleagues for actually getting out there, and being supportive and now getting people money that they need to eat. So. Yeah, that's another thing, uh, folks. I, I don't speak for the IRS, just like I said, I don't speak for my employers, but I say the checks are coming in, so just kind of be patient. I mean, I know for one, I'm in a personal situation where I'm on a standby right now for that as well. So uh -huh. just hang in there, and I guess by the end of, I guess by the middle of May or by the end of May, maybe you might want to start seeking some kind of information on what's going on if you haven't received anything yet. But like I said, do not take that for Bible or for policy because I do not work for either of the entities <laughs> I've just spoke about, but from my experience bringing, delivering checks and seeing people and getting the reactions, it's something of a staggered process. Well, thank you very, very much. You're welcome. I'll just say thank you for working at the post office. That's you. That, um, I saw some letters before. Wait, how do you know Yeah, I saw what we're talking about. It's cute. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's oh, cool. Th thank you very much. Yeah, that's me. So thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, delivering all this stuff for us. Yep, yep. Keeping us safe, feeding us. Thank you. No I'm back. I told you I like to mail stuff. <laughs>